Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my Minecraft survival series. In today's episode, we won't be doing too much building. In fact, ex excuse you, excuse you, excuse me, I'm trying to do my intro. We are actually going to be protecting this lovely village from a raid, whether they want me to or not. I've actually built them some nice defenses all around. And the only thing I really need now is to get a bad omen spell on me because I don't have one right now. It's kind of far away from my normal base, so what I might do is just go back to base and then come back here for the actual raid. But before I do go back to base, I can show you around a little bit. Hello, Roberta. Do not interrupt me again, if it was you. I actually had this desert temple spawn directly next to this village. So these two spawned directly next to each other, and it made the perfect entrance to our little village. So I basically just kind of turned this into a gatehouse and then we have a little sandstone wall all the way around. So there's really not much else to see on the outside other than that. But yes, I do have some walls I built all around the edges and that's pretty much it. I have a lovely cactus farm right here for some defenses and somewhere out there we do have an iron golem. I don't know where he is right now. I think he's outside the vent somewhere. Is there like some kind of secret conversation I'm not supposed to know about? Okay then. I think I'm going to leave this village here for now though until I get the bad omen. I really don't have much else to do around here. It's pretty boring in the desert. So I'm going to go back to my main base and we can work on some things back there. Now I haven't actually done a whole lot of things around here since the last episode. I've mostly been working on defending that one village. But I kind of want to start building something because I feel like that that attracts the pillagers most. Every time I start building something, they just all appear. So maybe they'll appear if I just randomly start building. We're going to try it. We're going to experiment. So we're just going to work on something small that I'm going to be doing eventually anyway. I'm just going to go up here. I have a little idea for a path I'm going to do between this staircase and our portal. I think I might have to level this place out a little bit better. I'm not sure, but it's basically going to be like a patio of sorts. It's not exactly going to be just a path. I guess terrace would be a good word. It's going to be like a little terrace up here. And we have to keep a lookout for pillagers. They tend to come around here quite frequently, and I don't remember the last time one spawned, but they do show up pretty often, so I have to keep my eyes out for them. All right, I'm trying to come up with some kind of interesting pattern here. I really don't know what this is. <laughs> Um, I'm just doing groups of three of each of these blocks, and I normally don't do it this methodically, but I figured I'd give it a try, and it's not in a perfect pattern either, they're just kind of randomly placed, but we'll see how this looks. Whoa, you guys! I haven't finished building my little platform, and they're already here, so you know what we're gonna have to do? I think we're going to kill them, get the bad omen, and then I will quickly finish my platform, and I don't want them to go away, but I think I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down. Uh, we could probably kill them now. Let me just get a couple backup dogs. Come on, dogs. I need you for backup. If I could get them to shoot each other, that would be helpful. Oops, did I hit my dog? Didn't mean to. Sorry! Okay, let's get all this XP. Did we get them all, doggies? I think so. And we have our bad omen effect, and the sun hasn't set. Perfect timing. Let's come back this way. Come on, guys, and we will sit you back down. Maybe I should take them with me, but I am going to be going through the nether, so it's going to be kind of harder to do that. Okay, so I was able to get as far as getting this floor laid out. It doesn't really have an exact dimension, I just kind of laid it out, and I'm going to go ahead and build this little wall, like, around all of this. I would like to make this cliff face a little steeper, probably, and maybe extend this out a little bit more, but it's probably not too bad as it is. First, let's go ahead and put some stairs here. This will be the only building we're doing for this episode, so let's just go ahead and do this. We're going to fill this in. Good, good. And I'll probably do some kind of railing here. We might want to make this four wide actually to kind of match up with the staircase a little bit better. And we'll probably have the entrance to our library wrap around this way. We'll probably extend this up and bring this hole up, but that comes later. For now, let's take these walls and we'll just put these under here like this. 
one on the corner. And we're gonna wanna do something on the edges too. I haven't quite figured that out. I think we might wanna use some stairs though. Let me go ahead and make a few stairs. We'll probably, oh, actually I do have some stone stairs still. We'll use those. Stairs go here and every other block around. I think next we're going to put a block on top of all of these and we'll kind of make it look like that except we're not going to be using andesite we're going to be using just stone because it's all I have with me right now <laughs> and I'm kind of lazy and so we'll put andesite in between all of these we'll probably want to put a slab underneath those too we can do that you can't really see it from a distance too much so it doesn't make too much of a difference but at least we have something up there this should be good for now though, let's go ahead and make our way back to the village. Alright, here we go. I'm a little bit nervous, not going to lie. <laughs> Alright, the raid has started and we are in our little house. The bell is ringing, I hear villagers scrambling. This is my first time ever doing a raid, so let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and climb up on this wall and just get a look, see about where they were going to be coming from. I did surround this whole place with a wall, so it's kind of big too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see everything. All right, let's walk this way. All the villagers are getting to safety, which is good. This is a pretty good spot to see what's going on. Um, I don't see much yet. Oh wait, I heard somebody. Aha, I see one person. I see one little man. All right, it looks like they're all trying to get to me on this side, but they're all kind of close to the walls. There's one over there. Let's see if we can't snipe him. All right. I think he got caught in the cactus there. That was pretty good. Oh no, the kitty cat is outside. That's okay. I don't think they'll attack it. Still by this cactus farm. Where'd that other one go? There he goes. Oh, here's one. He's all the way near the front. That was a leader. Now, where's the last one? Come on, guys. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to make the walls so tall because I have a hard time seeing them coming and seeing where they are. Okay, I heard somebody. There he is. Where'd he go? He went around the corner sneaking off oh he died is that an emerald he dropped i need to go get it but i think another wave is starting so i better not who is that bell ringer over there who is this was it roberta or was it this person i just completely lost track of who it was all right let's get up here and see where they're coming from now they seem to like to come to this side, so I'm just going to stay on this side. Oh, there's the leader over there. Let's go ahead and snipe him. This is actually pretty easy. Is he running into the cactus? I literally just saw him run into that cactus and hurt himself. He would, too. Hey, now he's running away. Coward. Come back here. Grr. <laughs> I- okay, he's just moving too quickly for me. Did I hit him that time? Did I finally hit him? There we go. Let's go ahead and kill that skeleton. Whee! All right, Roberta or whoever is ringing the bell again, where are they gonna come from this time? I'm going to assume they're gonna come from this side somewhere. Oh, there they're coming from. Okay, they're coming from way over there. So let's make our way over there. Oh. Did they actually hit me? No. Okay. So I really don't know what the Ravager can do. <gasps> I almost fell off the wall there. That was a little bit scary. Maybe <laughs> I shouldn't be so close to it. You're dead. You're dead. Two remaining. Here's one. That was a really fast shot you just did. Good on you. Now where'd the other one go? He just went around the corner. Come back here. Where did he go? 
I love how they just run away. They get so scared of me. I'm so terrifying. Got my OP bow. There you are. Come back here. <laughs> nope. Nope. He's running away. Stop running away from me. He is... Why is he running away from me? Ah, he's trying to get a drop on me. I see now. I see how it is. Alright, so last time they came from this side. Let's see if they're gonna probably not come from this side again. Oh dear, what has happened? Zombies everywhere? Alright, so where are the pillagers now? Where did they go off to? They're on this side? You know what? I wonder if I could draw them to the front. That would be kind of fun. Oh, there's a witch and a skeleton joining the raid. Everybody's here. Big party time. I really shouldn't have put these giant poles on my walls because it's making it very hard for me to see what's going on. Where did he go? I think he ran around here somewhere. I'll just keep running around the walls until I hear him. All right, here's some of them right below me here. Oh, they're all in this corner. Is that witch fighting them? Or is she trying to fight me? She is. She's... What's she doing? <laughs> what is she doing? Witches are so sneaky. Raiders remaining too? Where are they? I will find you. Actually, they give themselves away because they're so loud. The witch does not count as a raider, does it? Does it? Because I didn't know that. If it does. Oh, it does! That makes so much more sense to me. Okay, sorry guys. I'm a noob here. I've never done this before. I have no clue how many of these waves there are either, but we are playing hard mode, and there's an Enderman. Okay, they're coming from the front this time. Let's make our way over there. Let's ignore this Enderman. We don't have time for him. Let's go over here. Oh, there's one riding him. Interesting. I will just knock him right off. Did he blow a hole in my wall? Because if he did, that'd be so bad. No, 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 no! You guys can't come in here! No! Go away! Go away! Okay, do I have any blocks? I have, like, some blocks. Ah! Okay, I was not expecting this to happen. I thought I was completely safe. Clearly, I was wrong! No! Okay. Overreacting just a little bit, but we're good. We got it patched up. <laughs> and the only block I had on me is wood. Now, there's a couple more of them, I believe, somewhere. That creeper, though, just came out of nowhere. All right, you. And where is there another one coming? Mr. Enderman, I wish you'd get out of my way. And thank goodness for the sunrise. And ouch, that hurt. I'm guessing that was a skeleton, though, because I heard the bones rattling. All right, where is this last um, raider? Aha, they're over here. There's like three of them. The Vindicator. Another Vindicator. And a... Is that an Evoker? No! No! No Vexes! I forgot about these guys. I forgot they were here. I always forget they exist, to be honest. No Vexes. There's that last one. Wait, I need to get rid of the Vex. No more raids yet. All right, we better eat something. Here we go. Another wave coming. Where are they coming from? They're around that pillar. They just need to show themselves. Is it skeleton? <laughs> I'll get rid of the skeleton. Sure. Oh, I see what the witches do now. I'm so stupid. So does the witch... So the witch gives them a potion of healing or something? Is that what she does? That makes more sense to me. So they're like working as a team. Does that mean that creeper was part of their team too, blowing up my wall? It's all a conspiracy. Do not spawn. No. Oh, that scared me. Terrified me. No, don't kill me. Don't do it. I didn't sleep here. I didn't sleep here. 
I slept way back at my base. I won't even spawn back here if I die. I guess that was my mistake. <laughs> All right, let's heal up before we face this guy again. I do not like this guy. Where'd he go? Get him! Oh, good. That was good. Oh, here he is. He was like here this whole time. These guys are so easy compared to that invoker. Let's get up here and watch. Where do you see them coming from? I really should have made a watchtower. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. What? Oh no, was that was that what I thought it was? Ah! Okay, okay. I do not like these guys. Okay. Everybody get inside. I'm going over here. And I have no potions with me whatsoever. If I die, guys, if I die here, I wouldn't be surprised. No, I didn't want to hit the villager. Sorry. So sorry. I'm dying. And I died. I think I was so close to not dying, though. I'm pretty sure we're getting really close to the end of this. At least I hope we are. Let's make our way back there. My stuff? is going to be right out this door, thank goodness. I am prepared for combat once again. Oh wait, I do have my food. Let me get my food in the third slot. All right, got my shield ready. Where are these guys? Come at me. Okay, I needed a shield this whole time, who knew? Okay, here's some of them. Let's see if we can't get over there. Are they actually going into my cactus swarm? All right, we'll kill them over here, over these cacti. This is probably the safest place for me right now, to be honest, where they can't get right up next to me. Ooh, I hear something deep over here. I think it's just a ravager. Is he just gonna burn forever? What is he hitting? Okay, he's good. All right, I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm going to sleep in my bed before I do anything else here. I cannot see them. How am I supposed to fight them if I can't even see them? All right, let's get in the bed real quick. All right, now at least our spawn is here, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Ah, let's get these guys dead. I can't even see where they're coming from. You guys are so fast. I know some people suggested that I should have built a moat, and now I'm starting to agree with you, and I completely see why, because I can't see them when they're right next to this wall. I'm wasting so many arrows. <laughs> they're so fast. They won't hold still. All right, who else is around here? Where is that, that evoker? You! Come here. There's only one raider remaining? Is it the Vindicator? Oh, it was just a witch. Oh, and thank goodness that was the end. Hooray fireworks for me, and I did die once. Everyone can celebrate though. Yes, celebrate for me. I have sacrificed a life for you. I was a pretty uneventful end with just the witch I had to kill, but yes. Uh, I was actually very close to doing that without dying at all. I think all of my villagers survived. Alright, you know what? Before anything else despawns, let's get out there and see what kind of loot they dropped. I think there was a few emeralds they might have dropped. Let's get out here and see. Ah, a totem of undying. Very nice. Another totem of undying. A saddle, two saddles. Of course, there was a lot more, but it all despawned before I could get to it. That's okay. Well, I definitely understand a little bit more how raids work now, so I think next time I do one, I'm going to prepare a little bit better, possibly with a moat, so they can't get right up to the wall so I can actually see them to shoot them. That was probably the biggest thing I'd have to do. Now, where did all my villagers go? Because I want to see what kind of special trades they have to offer me. Where are they all? Aha, here is Albert. Hello, Albert. Ooh. You will take, what is it, 11 coal for an emerald? Mm, 
not today. No, thank you. I'm actually not in need of emeralds right now, so I might not do any training. But, let's see. You don't even have a profession. Actually, most of them don't. I think there's only three that do. There's like two farmers and one armor. Frank, what do you got to offer me, buddy? Nothing I need. That's okay. Hello, Gus. How you doing, Gus? Thank you, Gus. All right. Overall analysis. I wasn't expecting to die at all. And I wasn't expecting that random creeper to blow a hole, but other than that, it was actually not too bad. And like I said, I should probably build a moat around this place if I ever want to do one again, because that would be super helpful. But you guys will have to let me know how I did. I'm, I'm kind of such a wimp when it comes to PvP. I mean, I'm the person who just likes to shoot everything from a distance. I do not like hand-to-hand -hand combat at all. So those vexes were really driving me crazy. I'm actually going to end it here with this. Thank you guys for joining me and I hope to see you again in another episode. We will be doing some more building then hopefully, but until then, have a great day. Bye.